Hey everybody, a lot of people are having trouble with the auto clicker and Roblox account manager. I know that the auto clicker updated and I just hadn't updated it, but I did now. I'm about to re-download everything, walk you guys the whole way through it. I had some people say that it was very confusing and I'm not trying to make it confusing because I want you guys to be able to do this. It helps a lot with aging your pets and everything like that. So here we go. You're going to want to go to Google. You're going to want to type in Roblox account manager. And once you do that, you click on the first link. It should say Ice Wolf 22. And you're going to scroll down and click the blue download button. After that, you're going to, I always click that little folder thing. So it takes me right to my folder. You're going to right click, going to go down to extract Roblox account manager. People were saying that this was not apparent whenever they right clicked. As you can see, I have WinRAR installed, so um, that might be why it's not popping up for you guys. There's a bunch of videos on YouTube on how to install WinRAR. It's very, very simple. So you could just go look up YouTube video on how to do that and then come back to this one. So once you get here, you're going to click Extract to Roblox Account Manager. Once you do that, this folder should pop up. Go on to click into the folder, click Roblox Account Manager, and then there's this right here. I always like to move it to my desktop. In order to do that, you right click, click send to, and then you're going to want to go down to desktop, create shortcut. It'll automatically create it for you. Pops up right here. We'll set that up later. First, you're going to download the auto clicker. So what you're going to do, go back to Google, type in GS auto clicker, and then you're going to want to search that. And then you're going to click on the first link. You're going to click download. I want you to click download. It's going to take you to a new window. You're going to click download again. It should pop up over here. Click the little folder icon and you're going to want to send to desktop. In order to do that, it should just be an application, no folders or anything like that. Just right click, send to, and desktop. It should automatically create your shortcut. Then you don't need that anymore, you don't need Google anymore. I had to learn how to use it first. It's really simple. This top part is if you just want to click in one specific position. This button record and playback is what we're going to be using so you're going to just click it and so this looks a lot different than how it used to look in order to set it up you're going to want to go to options playback speed i have it on one okay playback repeat you want to have it on repeat until stop and then you're also going to click interval you're going to click okay then you're going to want to go to recording and options you're going to want to make sure you click all these. They should automatically be clicked. This will record your mouse clicking, but if you were to not record, it wouldn't work at all. Mouse move, if you didn't click that, it wouldn't record you moving your mouse around. The delay, this is sort of optional. If your computer is really good, then it doesn't really matter if you do this or not. If you have no delay on, it'll just do the sequence of your mouse movements immediately. If you have record the delay on, it'll go as slow as your mouse went. You're going to click OK. And then settings, hotkeys. I don't know how you change it. I don't know if that's a bug or if I'm doing something wrong. Pretty sure it's the same for everyone. Control plus one, it'll will start it or it will stop it, the sequence that you do. And control plus three, this will start recording. That's basically how that works. So with the old auto clicker, it would automatically save whatever sequence you had. This one, it won't do that. You will have to reset it up every single time you use it. I'm going to walk through this whole Roblox account manager with you guys. I want to click on it, open it up. So I always click this one. Password, you're going to want to put in your password. Click continue. It's going to make you confirm your password. All right, now you're in. As soon as you get in, you're going to want to click on your settings. You're going to want to make sure you're in general and you're going to want to go down to multi Roblox and make sure this box is checked off. If you do not do that, it'll open an account and then whenever it goes to open the next account, it will crash that account, the first account that you open, and it'll keep doing it over and over and over again. So you're going to want to click this 
And that's it. I'm going to explain what place ID means and job ID. So the place ID is basically your game. This right here is your job ID. Click it. Copy it. Close out of that. You don't need it anymore. And then you just go right into there. Paste it in. Adopt me. Look at that. Job ID is for your private server. So if you want all your accounts to join a public server, you don't need to put anything in here. You just leave it blank. But we want to put it all in a private server because it's a lot easier whenever you have a lot of accounts. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna wanna go to the game that you want. You're gonna click on servers. You're gonna scroll down to your private server. Click three dots, configure. Go to this, copy it, accept, paste it in there. Now that's ready. Now we're gonna add all my accounts in. What you're gonna do is click add account. It's gonna take you to a login. You gotta go ahead, it's gonna log you in. And I have two step, so I'm gonna type in the code that I have and click verify. And it's gonna add it in right there. I have never been hacked, never had anything stolen from my account. This app is very trusted. A lot of people were asking what the specs of my computer are, so I'm gonna show you guys. In order to see the specs of your computer, if you go to your task manager and you go to performance, it'll show you, this is my graphics card, 3060 Ti, I have an Ethernet cord. These two are just my C drive and D drive. Uh, my memory, also known as RAM, is 16 gigabytes, and my CPU is the i5. I can run 16 accounts at one time, but it's really not good for my computer and I can show you guys how to look at how many accounts you'll be able to run at one time after I put all my accounts into my Roblox account manager. My boyfriend has a computer as well that I use so I put eight accounts on his computer and eight accounts on my computer so it really helps to not burn out my computer super fast. That's what I have been doing. For a while now i like eight accounts my cpu is at max so with 16 it's really not good for the computer in order to select multiple accounts you can either drag or you can hold the control key while you click and you can click the ones you want you can also move them around so say i want to move these all the way to the top there they are all moved to the top it wasn't working whenever you would just select them all join server but we are about to find out if it works or not this pops up for you just click don't show again remember my choice and yes i like to join three because it's a lot easier in your computer if you join small amounts at one time i like to have my tabs up in the corner like this what you're gonna have to do as of right now is just click the account you want join server click the next account you want join server and i do this three at a time this is how you see how many accounts your computer can run at one time. So it looks like my CPU is capped at 100 with 8 accounts. Mind you, I did used to run 16 accounts at one time on this computer. And I already showed you guys how to check um, your specs on your computer. If you have specs like my computer and you want to run more than 8 accounts, you can, but it's extremely laggy and it's not good for your computer. This is where the auto clicker comes in. So you're going to click record and playback. You're going to go to control three. This is how you start recording. So I'm clicking on here, clicking on here, clicking on here. And you're going to come back. And then you're going to click control three again. I have playback, repeat every... Repeat until stop. Make sure you check the interval. I'm gonna do every five seconds. It does that. So control one, this is gonna go ahead and start it. This is not me moving it. It's doing this by itself. If you guys can remember the optional delay setting that I was talking about, if you were to unclick that button, it would do this pattern instantaneously. So it used to do every five seconds, a click. Then it would wait five seconds. Then it would do a click. Then it would wait five seconds. Then it would do a click. How it is now, every five seconds, it's gonna go through and do each one. 
And once it's done the pattern, it's gonna stop for how long you want it to stop. So I have it at five seconds, so every five seconds it's gonna redo the whole thing again. This means that you don't have to have it every five seconds. You can have it wait like 10 minutes and it will redo that sequence. So that's basically how you set up everything. If you have any questions, any comments, any concerns, please put them in the comments. Hopefully I explained this a lot better than I did in my other video. Um, I tried to be a lot more thorough. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Let me know if you guys need any more help. I'll see you later. Bye.